Okay. Well, we'll have to remove you, won't we? Yeah, how can you remove me? A minimal amount of force required. Yeah, right. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at the Nissan Motor Parts Centre, Magna Park in Lutterworth. There's also a sign for Renault National Parts Distribution Centre as well. So we've got all visitors report to the gatehouse. We've got a lovely pedestrian footpath here and a little bit of a security turnstile in here. Look. Look at them for Tad's dials, little plastic bits of... <laughs> it's quite easy to hop over them, isn't it? But it actually takes you into the site with no further security inside. Ooh. Do not enter... Hi, can I help you? Hi. Yeah, I'm just um, here to make a video for my YouTube channel. Um, my intention is just to stay outside on the public footpath there and just do a little 10 minute video talk about what you do inside and then just take the drone over for an aerial shot just to finish off the video won't be here for more than 20 minutes 10 minute drone 10 minute video just from outside okay, all right thank you so yeah that was nice weren't it no problems at all with uh, what we're going to do but yeah very unusual security there and then none in there <laughs> so it's like what is the point of that when you've just got that open like that crazy oh it looks like nissan newspapers look but no top stories today so yeah it looks really nice from the front the nissan logo on the front there and they have got a few flags blowing in the wind hopefully it's not too windy and you can hear me okay Is this one just forklift parts in here, mate? I'm just trying to find online which parts they're doing here. Is it forklift or cars? Do you know the Nissan parts inside? Yeah. Parts for what? Uh, parts for Nissan and Renault. Yeah, is it cars, vehicles? It's cars. So it's not the forklifts, it's cars. Right, so just mainstream cars, Qashqai and Leaf and all that, like, you do the parts here. And when the, the parts dealers need parts, you send them to them. Yeah. Got you. Okay, and that's for Renault and Nissan. Yeah. Is there quite a lot in there, yeah? Is it, is it every single part comes from here? Well, no, there's other parts as well. Oh, you manufacture here? No, no. Just store and distribute? Yeah. It's like the regional distribution centre, isn't it? So for, for this local area, you, you supply them? Dealers, yeah. So when the dealers, do the dealers like place their orders and there's like a cut off, let's, let's say 4 p.m. and you deliver the next day to the dealers? Yeah. So, so even if they order on the same day, they could get it. So if they order it on the morning, they could get it in the afternoon. I'm not sure how it works exactly. Yeah, that's brilliant, mate. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's amazing that Nissan have got such an infrastructure in place to support the people that are buying their vehicles. Yeah. And now you do Renault as well. Yeah. Because is Renault like um, a recent addition? No, I don't know how long been there. Yeah. All right. Nice one, mate. You, you better get back to work, eh? <laughs> Cheers, pal. So there we go it's um they've got such infrastructure in place where all the dealers around this area where we're in Lutterworth so this region all the dealers around this region when they place their orders for parts there'll be a sophisticated computer system where it, it gets sent from here you imagine all the storage the racking and the bin locations inside this place <laughs> wow I'd love to have a look inside. So I've tried looking online to show you something on the screen about this place, but I really cannot find anything at all. So let's just get the uh, the drone up and see what it looks like from above. Yes, you right. 
Are you secure it here? No, no, oh. Oh, I'm to see you. Do you want a key ring? Yes, please. You go, oh, mate. you're the man. I can, I can sail. DJ audits. Oh, wow. Just, That's the last thing you searched just, for. I just finished that. That was yesterday's. Wow. Brilliant. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, and you, mate. It's always <laughs> nice to see a viewer. I thought you were security. No, no, no. So I thought I'd recognise your sleeves as I come round the island. The sleeves. <laughs> the bike's over there, look. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you. Brilliant. Yeah, nice to meet you, mate. How are you, mate. <laughs> you work here, yeah? No, I work at DHL. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, the other one, like, but yeah. Oh, you're taking the drone up now? Yeah, yeah, I've already had a little chat with them. Oh. Are, you? Are you all right with you? Yeah, yeah, this one's fine, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely fine. I've only just arrived on this estate though, so hey. I'll be spending a while here. Oh, there Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> you finally got one, mate. <laughs> well done. Cheers, mate. All right, good, good, to see you. good to see you, mate. See you, mate Take care. <laughs> so, wow, look at that. It pulled up so quick, I thought, oh no, let's get the drone out of the way. Security's gonna accidentally run it over. But it was a subscriber. I love it when they're like that. If you ever see me out and about filming, just come over. You're very welcome to a DJ Audits keyring. So, let's get David up and see what this place looks like from above. Nissan Motor Parts Centre here at Magna Park in Lutterworth. So as you would expect in a distribution centre, stacks and stacks of trailers, loading bays, pallets. But let's go see the specifics on this one, eh? What we got down here? Some drums of some sort of chemical. Some empty stillages. And some trailers docked up there. We always like to have a look in the skips, don't we? So what have we got in these ones? Bumpers. Parts of a bumper. Bits of metal. Windscreens. And some wheels there. They're using this iconic coloured building type that blends into the sky. So what we got down there? Hiding behind there. Can't quite make it out. Not gonna go all the way down there on the side of that one. No solar panels on the roof. They're not making the most of this big area that they could be making money from, are they? And down on this side of the building is just a car park. So let's have a quick look to see what's right at the back. Get nice and high so we can still see the drone. And on this side of the building, We've got masses and masses of these stillages where they move all the parts around inside, I presume, on wheels. XPO trailer there. And quite a few of these XPO logistics. They must be heavily involved in moving the stuff around for Nissan and Renault. Oh, and over to GoPro, we have got Magna Park Security. Well, mate, what are you up to? Flying a drone. Why? 
Why not? Yeah, you're on our private land. It's all public, isn't it? No, it's not public. Who gave you that idea? Is there a bus stop? There is a bus stop for commuters, yes. Yeah. Why? Sorry? Why are you doing it? Why am I making a video of Nissan? Yeah. Put online. Why? For like commercial use, and you've got a commercial license for that. You don't need one. You do. Even if it's underweight, you still need a commercial license if you're making it for commercial use. Who told you that right? nonsense? It does. Well, I'm going to ask you to leave site anyway. You are. I'm going to ask you to leave site. Yeah, who are you, sorry? Security from Magna Kay Park. Ainsworth. That's me, yeah, that's me. You want to read that? Can you read that? Yeah, of course can, yeah. That's on the entrance and exit of every site. The routes created through this area are permissive only. Right. It is not intended that this route should be become... Public public. Hold on, let me read it. Public right of way. In the event any reasonable circumstances and emergency, the permissive area may be closed. Okay, there's not an emergency, is there? Where? Where's the emergency? Well, it's not an emergency, it's right, an event. Me. Where? This is an event that we don't want you to be doing. Okay, so let me, let me finish reading it. Yeah. So far, it don't apply to me. Yes, it does. Vehicles and motorcycles are not permitted to be used the area of the path. Okay, yeah, I've not got any of them. The sign constitutes a notice in accordance with the Highways Act 19... Yeah, Which counteracts the public act. If you read so, up on it. So, on what basis, um, what sort of activity would you try and stop people from doing then on this land? <laughs> this is all... This is our private land, so you yeah. need permission to come onto our private land. So anybody on that permissive basis, we are not letting you have as our decision as the management of right. So if you could kindly pack your stuff up and go, that'd be great. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but we've We've not... read the sign. They're on that entrance, they're on that entrance, and they're on the other entrance down the other end. Right. Okay. Let's just let's just get this drone down a minute. Get it, drone it, down. It, I know it, it's underweight. It's a lot safer. I know you don't need certain licenses for it. Well, you've, stuff like you that. you have mentioned a commercial license, it's, even. Yeah. even but if you're using it for commercial use, yeah. then obviously you're getting commercial gains yeah. for your online support. Yeah. So if you're using it that way, you will need a commercial license, even what? though that's underweight. So you believe that a 249 gram drone, if you get commercial gain from it, you need to get some sort of commercial license? If you're using it for a commercial gain, I believe so. Right, okay. Is there a possibility that you might be wrong on that? Hey, 50-50 choice, isn't it? Have you got any paperwork to say otherwise? Oh yeah, 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 of course. But I'm just packing the drone up at the minute. Yeah, not a problem, mate. It's alright, I know you've... Um, oh, I recognise you now. You're all the right. guy that came here about a year ago. You've seen half the Indian fella with a beard. Oh, I recognise you now. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't know all the rules back then. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, so. we're, we're, not, we're not going off what you've just told me there. Yeah, but it's, uh, you know, you're on our private land, you're using it for commercial use, I don't want you filming on our private land. So right. there you go. Well, unfortunately, my friend, <laughs> here we go, right, the drone's away. Here we go, right, the drone's away now, yeah? So everything you've just said was recording on the GoPro, me, but unfortunately you're wrong about the drone having requiring a commercial license. You have to go through certain stages of license. You have to apply for one, don't you? No, no, no. To fly it? No. I'm sure you do. Do you know if you have an operator ID on the drone itself? Yeah. yeah then that's all that's required for a 249 gram drone. Yeah. You can still go on to use that as commercial use. You can make money off it. Which no I problem. Believe you are. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm admitting that. So that is commercial use. Yeah, but no, no li license for, even though it's underweight. You check that out. I have checked it out. Yeah, I'll well, double check it. You can't leave them. Don't walk off. No, I'm going. I've got things to do, mate. I'm, I'm not going in. I'm not leaving. You've got to. I'm not. Why? Because I'm trying to explain to you. Yeah, uh, I've, I've, I've listened to your side. No, you haven't. So no, anyway. I've listened to your side. Anyway, I'm trying to explain to you that what I'm doing, it's it's lawful. And if there is public access like this, that there is, you, you can revoke. Access for work. You, you can revoke it. That's if you solely own the private land. And unfortunately, yeah. there's, this is access to many, many businesses. You'd have to yeah. get every one of them we to consent. It. It's irrelevant. Because no, you don't know if I've been invited to DHL down the road there. You haven't been invited. You don't know that. And until you do oh, know no, that, no. Uh, I'm not saying I have, but I'm saying you don't yeah, know. There's a lot of things. Now, if you've been invited to any site on this site. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So if you, once you've done that and you've got consent of every single one of them, then you're 100% sure yeah. that you no, can. No, 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 it's not that. This, yes, it this is. This bit here yeah, is our land. Our land. I don't need consent from Nissan. To walk here. Okay. Do you know? Do you know this footpath here that I'm standing on? 
Do you know, the, do you know this footpath here? He's done it on the footpath. He's done it on the things away Okay, camp. okay. So do you know when the crossing goes over? Where's the pedestrian supposed to go? So do you, know, do you know if I'm standing here? You know if I'm standing here on this footpath here? Yeah? It's leading me over to this piece of grass where we we're standing, isn't it? So it's a footpath. It's footway. Well, where else would the pedestrians go to cross the road? They go there into work. Listen, what I'm saying to you is, yeah. my first point of call is Nissan. And they go there. I've got many, many other places I'm going to go to on this not industrial on estate. Part, yes, I am. Yes, I am. No, you're not. So, what are you going to do about it? Hey, well, we're going to have to remove you, won't we? Yeah, how can you remove me? A minimal amount of force required. Yeah, right. Okay. You're on private land. <laughs> we don't want you droning on our land. Yeah. And you've not had permission for that. Yes, I have. From who? Nissan, no. they've just rang me and said you're droning. Yeah. And they don't want you to. Let me, let me show you who the permission's from. I'd love to see it. Yeah. You see those circles? The red ones? Yeah, the red ones and the blue ones. Okay. They're the ones where, where you cannot fly. You see where we are? There's no red zone, is there? No, this is private. Yeah, That's what with, saying, with, public, be on here. with public access, yeah, and as long as I've revoked from that sign, you can't revoke public yes, access can. until you've got consent of every occupier you don't, every on every the industry. Occupier. Yes, you do. We just need the management team, which is this. No. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. We, we have the right. Same as a pub landlord has the right to refuse a person okay. if he's in his land. So if that pub landlord is subletting out to a barber in the corner, he's not subletting out to a barber. Well, you, you're you're renting this land to all these businesses. Yes. So one of those businesses might want me. They might no, want they my don't. free advertisement. Well, they, they might, they, they might. You don't know, so you've got no, no jurisdiction. You don't know that they do. I'm gonna ask them. Thing. I'm gonna ask them all if they if, say no. You go into that man there and ask him if you're allowed to film. He says no, great. I'll come with you to every business. And they'll all say do you, no, do 100% you know, guaranteed. Do you know when I went into the guy at they'll Gatehouse? They'll say no, 100% guaranteed. Guess what he said? What did he say? Guess. I don't know, what did he say? Yes. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Go and ask him. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on then. Come on then. Let's go. Come on then. Let's go. Let's go and ask him. What did he say? He said, "I've just told you." He said, "Yes." I'm just making a video of Nissan. I'll be out here for about ten minutes. I'm going to fly the drone over. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. So you cannot be removing people when businesses that are renting out your land have consented to my activities. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, but he doesn't have the right to And this is the way you want to treat photographers and, and visitors to your site that want to make my great site. content. This ain't my site. <laughs> my friend, yeah, just for clarity, do you know when I came up and I said what I was doing, you didn't object? Oh, sorry. That's like I didn't know whether the part needed uh, to get in. No, no. But you said it's we do okay. Need permission. Yes, he does you, need our permission. Hold on. You said it was okay, didn't you, for, for me to do it? I didn't. Was no, it yourself? I said, no, I said okay. You told yeah. Me you said it was okay, you didn't object, we were nice and polite, we left on good terms, didn't we? That's what I mean, but yeah. when you said the drone, I didn't know what the rules were the drone were. Thank you, thank you my friend. We know the rules on the drone, the drone's not a problem, because we're not in a restricted area. Yo. So there we go. No, we're not. This is private land, mate. Right. Like I say to you, a lot of these businesses like what I do. It's, no, it's great. Well, I've just, uh, just showed you there, yeah. you had no problem with it. See? The only person that's got a problem with it is you. Yeah. There you go. I'm the management for this site, so I'm asking you nicely to leave. Yeah, and I'm denying your request to leave your site. Why is that then? Because I'm here to do a lawful activity, and I'm here to visit interesting businesses that yeah. would... That you need their permission, go and visit, sign in, go inside. Do you, know, do you know two minutes... You don't go inside, do you? You only fly over. Do you know two minutes before you arrived? Yeah. I had someone pull up here, yeah. and guess what he said? What's that? Are you DJ Audits? And I says, yeah. He goes, oh, where are you going next? I goes, DHL. Oh, brilliant, I'll see you there. So there you go. You're going DHL? Yes. Off you go then. Off you go then. I don't want to be seeing you keep coming to me with this nonsense while I'm flying my drone. DHL, please. If you're going DHL, go DHL. I've got a job to do. Yeah, I know you have. So I'm a busy man. I'm watching, okay. you, I'm watching you go. It's an electric car. I like to see how quiet it is. Very quiet. Let's hear it then. Let's have a look inside. No, I need to hear it. You going DHL or what? When I'm ready, I don't like to be rushed. No, well... You can't stand around here all day. You've not got an eye biz on it. It's a commercial entrance. You're going to be right trouble if a lorry hits you, ain't you? Thanks for the concern. Yeah. Just start it up. Listen, listen. Floor. Let's leave on good terms, my friend, because you, you, you're a viewer, and people are going to see this and comment on what you're doing. Yeah. So 
Let's just hear it. Is it turned on already? Can't hear a thing, can we? That's brilliant. A Hyundai, Hyundai Kona. So that was a bit eventful, weren't it? Flying the drone, there weren't really much to see on Nissan. But then Magna Park security arrive. It says, oh, I recognize you from the previous video. What was the last guy's name that I spoke to? The last, you said it already anyway. But no, I, I, I really like the vehicle that you're using. I would like one myself. How much was it? Is it least? How much does it cost per month? All right. Well, no hard feelings, all right? I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm going to get my bike and I'm going to move on. Good luck. Thank you very much. But I'm staying on Magna Park. Where are you going to next, DHL? Uh, is, is DHL still on Magna Park? There is two of them, yeah. Yeah, I'll go there first. You're going to go to DHL? But do you know if anybody else see, notices me yeah. and says... Make sure you wear an RVs on the road. I have got one, actually, yeah. yeah all right, okay, there you go, we're working together. I've just told you, I've got it. And you found out that I had theirs as well. Go and get DHL's permission. So yeah, it's an interesting one. When you've got these large industrial estates that are managed by a security firm, you know, if you are doing something wrong, like racing up the road or graffitiing or just hanging around being antisocial, anything that's deemed to be wrong, then yeah, remove them. But for somebody that's just flying a drone, a lawful activity and doing photography and is actually getting along with the business, then should they really be asking us to move on like that? Mm, I think not. Therefore, I stood my ground there. Go on, say the magic word. Yeah, of course you can, my friend. I'll be really quick. Yeah, mate. You watch it, do you? I appreciate that mate. Yeah, he's brilliant. I'm, see I'm seeing him in a few days time. Yeah. Yeah, well he's done it today. <laughs> Great to see you mate. <laughs> Eddie Stobart driver there. While I was driving uh, while I was riding my bike down this road, I heard him pap. So I thought, yeah, let's stop. We know what he wants. <laughs> Everybody wants a key rig, it's brilliant. What are you doing now, mate? Sorry? What are you doing now? Did you see that Eddie Stobart vehicle? No, the one that just stops and spoke to me. Guess what he said? I don't know, couldn't guess in a million years. Because hello, mate, great to see you. That's yeah. what everyone's saying to me, apart from you. I wonder why. Yeah, because you're on our private land, mate. I'm just about to visit this company. It's got nothing to do with you. Yeah, it's, it's Listen, visitors to companies have no, nothing to do with you. If they, will, if they want a key ring from me and they're my friends, that's between yeah, me and them. Nothing to do with you. No, it's here. nothing to do with you. If you carry on harassing me, I'll be calling the police. You're getting a bit cheeky, you are. Yeah. Uh, who do you represent? I represent Magna Park Management. Yeah. So, could, could I have a phone number, please, for your... Have a phone number, please, for your boss. So you can find it on the website. Even. Yeah, just, just, Park. just stay there for a moment. Yeah, find Magna Park. Yeah. Magna Park Lutterworth Security. And guess what this gentleman's about to say? You'll see. Everybody wants me to be here, my friend, apart from you. Will you watch this? Do. Just make sure you listen, OK? Yeah, but you're on private land. We don't want you to be here. <laughs> Hello, mate! You want a key <laughs> You want a key rig? Yeah, you're a viewer, are you? DJ, I do, mate. Yeah, pleasure to meet you, mate. I saw you riding on your bike down there. It's so iconic now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Take but, it easy. Yeah. Have a good work. Love thank you, my friend. Thank you. So when I go and speak to these guys, these always also watch. Yeah. Everybody wants me to come and do a little no, no, video no, we for them. Don't want you on here. I don't care what you want. Don't get aggressive, please. Right, I'm going to call your boss. On, Take I'm, care, mate. I've already asked you twice. I've refused to leave your roads, OK? Right, so we can use minimal amount of force to remove you. I'm visiting these businesses. Not an appointment. They, they will welcome my impromptu visit. So and it's not? nothing to do with you. Well, it was if he doesn't. What are you going to do then? Then I'll move on. Yes, you will. Yeah, not off the estate. I'm going to visit every business on the estate and see if they want a video doing. Right. That's can, what can I do. You my boss first, like you said you was going to. I'll do that if I want. Yeah, you, you said you was going to. I'll do it if I want. You said you was going to ring the police, but you haven't yet, neither. So can you do one of them? No. If you tell me what to do, I'll do the opposite. All right, and jump up and down. Sorry? Jump up and down. Yeah, the opposite of that is what? Sit on the floor. Right. Just you, you, behave you, yourself, all right? You know I'm behaving you're myself. Not, you're not, look, look, there's I am, a couple of reasons. You're using that for commercial gains as we've established, okay? And you do need a commercial licence. I've checked online for commercial no, gains. No, you don't. All right? Doesn't matter as if it's underweight, all right? You're using it for commercial gain. Well, who do you need to... Re if, somebody's using, right. if, you, if somebody's using a drone, right, for without the relevant licence... Yeah, without the re relevant licence, who are you going to report that to? The licensing people. Go ahead. All right. So that's where that one ends. Yeah. What, what, what's your next problem? Is that you're on our land. I don't want you on it. No, well, I'm visiting the businesses, not you. Yeah, well, the visitor's reception is down that road, turn left, not the main gate. That's a HGV entrance. You've not got a high-vis on where it says you need to wear high-vises, and you've not got a helmet on while you're riding your bike. So you're a bit stupid. There's 40-ton lorries flying around here. It only takes one of them to clip you, and you're off. And it, you're it is not against the law to ride a bike without a helmet. It's advisable. It's not against the law. Yeah, and I'm right. advising you to, and if you're on our land, I want you to, because I don't want to scoop your brain off the floor. It's the, most right. it's the most sensible thing you've said all day. All right, I don't want to scoop your brain off the floor, so can you put a helmet on while riding your bike on my land, please? No, because you can't enforce that. It's on our private land, we can enforce no, the rules we want. Well, so you, you're going to say now, every single person that comes on this industrial estate on a bike, they've got to wear a helmet or they can't pass. You, well, the next one that goes past, and I'm telling you, 99.9% .9 of employees cycling onto this site wear a helmet because no. they have to come all down the main roads it's, it's personal means, choice if you want to film this site you can from either the a5 or the other a426 it's not for you right. to decide what i film and it's, it's not for you to it, decide neither if the individual if, if the individual businesses don't want filming yeah, well, we move on go round go round to the reception what's that? the name angela jeffrey yeah is she yeah. your boss yes Hi Angela. Hi, how are you getting on? Hey, it's with me now, arguing. Angela, could we have a discussion? Yeah, we can have a discussion. Right, Angela. Come um, down to the office then. No, one second. Come down to the office. Let me talk to Angela, please. Angela, um, so far, every yeah. business that I've visited, they do watch the videos and they quite welcome um, the video being done. Right, so as long as I've got agreement with these individual business businesses. Hold on, give me a moment. No, you've run out of Give moments. me a moment. I've, I've just confirmed. Sorry, sorry, can I just slow down a minute? Um, can you just tell me who you are? Yeah, I'm DJ Audits off YouTube, and I've already been right, okay. I've already been stopped by a few people, which have, have I've had a great conversation with them. Even the the first person I went to at Nissan at the gatehouse, he said, "Yep, yeah, no problem." I was nice and polite with him. I returned onto public land after announcing my presence, and we, we we got on perfectly fine. You didn't go on public land. You're on private land. Publicly, public, publicly accessible. Anyway, right, I'm sensing a bit of hostility um, here with the guy yeah, so in the car. Can I just speak? Sorry, what's your first name? DJ. DJ, right, okay. So I'm the estate manager, and I have checked this out in the last week for another gentleman with the landowners who are called GLP. So all of Magna Park South, North and Central is private land with privately owned buildings on it. So yes, you can walk on a footpath, but without, not, without the landowner's permission, you are not allowed to use your phone, I'm afraid. Yeah, and I do, I do know why you're saying that, but unfortunately, it's not the law. It's your policy. It's our policy, yeah. Yeah. So, so it's not a policy. It, it, it's private land. Every road sign that is on Magna Park has a, a statement on that it's, that this is private roads. Yeah. So it's not a public accessible site. So I have checked this out with the landowners in the last week and they are not willing to let anybody other than authorised people that they employ to do drone footage. 
Yeah. We have a lot of businesses on, excuse me, let me finish. Okay. Like you'll say. Yeah, no problem. So we, we have a lot of businesses on the park that have very high value stock and they are very, very nervous about even when we do uh, our committed drone footage. So, um, you know, I'm just about to email all the businesses that you are on the estate um, because that's my duty as the estate manager to do that. Um, but, you know, we are politely asking you to, to stop what you're doing. Yeah, no, and I get that, and I do appreciate the concerns of the businesses, but so far I've had no businesses, no, no representative of the businesses on the gatehouses, the first point of call, rejecting, like it, denying or, or wanting me not to do it. You went a business? Th th yeah, but they were fine. Yeah, there was two security guards, they didn't have the right to do that. You didn't get the management team out, did you? I, I said to them, I'm only here to make a video mm -hmm. about your company. Okay. I'm going well, to. Like I said, you're on private land. We don't want you on here. Right, Angela, okay. just just uh, following on from that point, okay. following on from that point, um, do you know if somebody doesn't follow your policy on your private property, then you, you can call the police, right? And when the police do turn up, they've got a lot more experience in this. And drone flying is very, very but new. We don't want to get to that situation, do we? We're going to have to. Because, wow. because I know what I'm doing. I've, been, I've crossed this path many times. And if it's publicly accessible, as long as you're not doing anything illegal, then you've got no right to ask them the to... Premises business only. Premises yeah, but that's a sign that's been put up and that's been created by yourselves. No, it's got a public right of way act on it. It's a highways act. Yes, and, yeah, and, I, I know and it out counters your highways act. I know what it means. Okay. The only way you're gonna, the only way for your benefit, why don't you use this as an opportunity to get the police's view on it? Because because I'm not going anywhere. You can certainly email all the businesses, Angela, and what that will do, that will get the message to the gatehouse, and they say, no, sorry, we don't want to participate in your video for your YouTube channel. As soon as they say that, I'll move on. So that means I'll be moving on to every single business, getting the no, and then I'll leave the Magna Park. But I've not asked. There's a lot of people, lot of businesses on here that rent the land from the landlord, and they want the video. Okay. Uh, well, I uh, uh, Nissan who, who have. You, who, can you show me your emails that you've sent to them? Then? Uh, did I say I've sent any emails? Uh, where did you get the permission from? Then? They watch the content. We're quite big on Who YouTube. The they quite, we're quite big on YouTube, and a lot of people watch it. I'm they, sure they, the director they, sitting in his chair in that building does not watch your YouTube. Directors channel. do watch. <laughs> right. yeah, now, anyway, now, you're still on DJ, private land. Yeah. DJ, DJ. Um, I am going to email all of the businesses. I've politely asked you to leave because you haven't got permission on our private land to do what you're doing. Um, but obviously you are going to disregard that. Um, you know, so that is your choice. Um, but, you know, and I don't want to involve the police because I think that's the wrong thing to do. Uh, you know, we're politely asking you to leave leave the premises. Yeah, unfortunately, if, if it's not gated, so if the access isn't restricted by a, a fence barrier or a person... That's on public, not on private. This has got a bus stop. This has got a bus route running through it. Any, works anybody access? No, it's, it's a city centre linked bus. Yeah. So anybody can get off the bus and have a wander around here, walk their dog, do any lawful activity, and filming with consent of the business owner is perfectly fine. The landowner, and you've not got access. Yeah, but yeah, you own the land, but it's it's access to the businesses on here, and that's all I want. I want access to the businesses. We'll go around to reception and ask them. Don't try and go through a gate. Unfortunately, th this is the access to the businesses. Well, you've got high vis on. You stand on the main road. P p members of the public. Can you get high vis out your back, please. Please don't keep saying about mem um, high vis. A member of the public cannot be asked to put a high vis on when they enter a public footpath from please. a bus. Yeah. Please just leave the situation, please. Yeah, if I cause any problems for you, Keith, then you have I'll see you again. But at the minute, nobody's made a complaint. And this hasn't made a complaint. I've, and we Rena's went back to him. made a complaint this morning, so... Who did, yeah, sorry? There have been complaints about you. Rena's Logistics made a complaint about you this morning. Who's that? I've not been to them. No, because you were flying your drone above their building yesterday. Yesterday? Was you on air yesterday? No, I wasn't. It's my first... Anyway, I'm not going to carry on with this conversation. I've made my point clear. You've made your point clear. And we're not going to get to common ground, are we? I wasn't here so yesterday, I'm Angela. I'm going to eat, sorry. I wasn't here yesterday, so so far there's been no complaints. Nissan has just complained. And we went back to him and he said it was okay. Well, that was the security officer, not the management team. So are you telling me that you've got a management... Please, please. Sorry? I'm talking to Keith. Oh, okay. Anyway, so, um, yeah. DJ, we're I... not going to get to a common ground. I've made my point, you've made your point. I'm going to be emailing all of the businesses now 
um, and you know you need to go and ask for the general manager of each site, not the security, to give you permission. Because the security do not have that level of authority. It's security's job to restrict access. If they want to allow me access and, and walk me around... DJ, you're not really being very polite, are you, and helpful? S- security are there for a reason. You're everything that, uh, that I'm saying. No, Angela, you know, Angela... I, I speak <laughs> to the security team when there's a security incident. General managers have the permission for that site, or operations managers, different job titles at each site. So I'm going to email all of those general managers now and you can carry on doing what you're doing, but you don't have my permission to do it. Shall we just leave it there and, and at least leave on good terms with ourselves without falling out? Yes. Okay. All right, have a nice day. All right, then. Have a nice Thank day. Bye-bye. Bye. So there you go. Magna Park, lots of security. Spent a lot of time there trying to persuade me just to, to leave sight and stop the activity. But, yeah, they might look after the roads and secure the buildings but where's the threat what are we doing wrong we're not trying to nick anything or or do anything wrong or compromise their security in any way we're just literally taking an interest in all these amazing businesses and buildings for our youtube channel to do our our videos absolutely crazy so yeah let's um move on i don't think this guy is going to leave my side while I'm here so today is going to be very eventful so Magna Park estate office this is where security are based in this tiny little blue hut these are the people that are making it difficult (laughs) to film on site emailing all the businesses and making out that we're doing something wrong. Magna Park Security. Got like an extraction hose coming out the window. Oh, hello. Hiya. Hi, I'm Angela. You yeah, DJ? Hiya. Yeah, yeah, just come to have a look where you're based. Yeah, we're based here. We had a new coat of paint yesterday. Yeah. What is that for the aircon, is it? It is. It's a bit like a tin can. And not looking after you. It's either cold that's, in the winter. That's the vehicle I recognised from last time. Yes. That yeah. must have been a few years ago. Yeah, let's have a look what you got. What well, I like this vehicle, the electric one. Electric charging just for the uh, on-site pool car, is it? I'm just waiting to get two more, actually. Yeah, this is the future. Yeah. And how does it work? Do you have to tap your card or anything? No, you just plug it in. It so, tells you on the dashboard how much is on the car. And then um, it just charges it. So most other cars can use this charging point. Free of charge? Yes. So if you had an electric car, as a staff member, you could charge it up free? Yes. Well, you better get one. Because <laughs> I would if I were you. I know, I'm fine. Yeah, it looks nice, to be honest. It's a shame they've not air-conned it for you, though. Well, In this weather, I presume it uh, holds a lot of heat. Is it metal? It's, yeah, it's a it's like a Yeah. What, cold in the winter and too yeah. hot in the summer? Yeah. All right, well, yeah. No, where I just wanted to... Where do you come from? Only Leicester. Oh, Leicester, right. Yeah. Okay. But we travel the country and we just visit interesting businesses, but it does include flying the drone over. And, you know, some of the business owners, they email us and they want a copy of it. Okay, yeah. They, they make a still out of it. They put it in their boardroom or in the staff room or whatever. So I know the, um, like the interpretation of what we're doing. We're coming unannounced, but it's a modern day thing and people embrace it. Mm. And while we were just having a chat there, someone came over because they watched the content and I say, if you ever see me about and you come and say hello, you can get a key ring. <laughs> so I'm constantly being approached by people wanting key rings. Right, OK. So, we had some others before, uh, last year sometime. So, yeah, it's not the first time. OK. Yeah. But, but I just wanted to see where you're based, whether it's like yeah. this plush. Like, it's not plush. Yeah. It's not plush. <laughs> You've had a fresh coat of paint, that's something. We've had a fresh coat of paint, first time in 33 years. Um, and then that's our gardeners. They live in that area there. So they're out and about. Yeah, oh, everyone cool. pays in the pot to, to yeah. guard on the old site. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's nice. I like how it's how it's set up, and you are seeing more of these managed estates. So I do get it. But with you having footpaths and stuff and bus stops, it, it depends on the activity they're doing. That's the thing. because yeah. we've got some businesses that have very high valued stock in their 
premises. They just don't want people playing, filming them. Yeah. You know, and I work for the landowners. I work for Savills. Um, you know, we checked out with the landowners last week for somebody else who wants to do drone footage, and you know they've said no. So. But so, like, if Asda, for example, says right, I would love you to do some drone footage around around here. Yeah. It's their decision, ain't it? It's not the landlord. It is their decision, but they know to say to you, you can only do their plot. You couldn't then move to Nissan at the side of them or things like that. Or in your short shot, you could probably have the Agsda logo because they've given you permission. You couldn't then have the Nissan one without them giving permission. Yeah, so it's just well, fairness. But they wouldn't be interested in having, a, they would just cut it out of, mm. of what footage they want. But accidental inclusion it's called mm. so when you're filming a subject but you include something else by accident it's just a part of the footage that the end user edits out but yeah i get what you're saying and it's about where you take off that drone you see so if you take that drone off from the private property yes if it's being occupied by asda and you take off from there their rules apply yes yes exactly but if it's taken off from public land I don't know we all know you're around now, so we've yeah. everybody, security, everyone. So. Uh, do you know, to be honest, right, I'm not even going to waste my time um, going... Now we've had that conversation, if I start approaching and approaching, they've sort of been told by higher up now, mm-hmm. we're not interested. So it is what yeah. it is. No, um, I haven't told them what decision to make. That's entirely up to them. Um, well, you've, you've implied that there's something wrong with no, it. No, I've advised that you're on the park. Because the, the ultimate landlord, who rents out to them, yeah. would prefer it not because yes. it, it could have incidental inclusion. Yes. Yeah, and I get it. Yeah. I get it. Okay. So, I just wanted to see where you're based. I'm That's going back to yeah. my car now. Right, okay. Oh, you've got your little bike and your car. Yeah, I leave the car somewhere. Because you can't keep moving the car, you know no, what I mean? it's dangerous on here anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. So, all right. Nice thank you. you. I'm glad we left on good terms. Yeah, that- and uh, w- why are there so many Magna Parks around the country? Because I went Milton Keynes. There's two. There's two. There's only two. Oh, is there? There's Milton Keynes and here. All oh, right. But then this is now, Magna Park Central's been here for 30 odd years. And then you've now got Magna Park North and Magna Park South over the bypass that are new additions in the last two years. Are you managing them as well? No. Right. No. No, okay. I just manage Magna Park Central. So actually, I could then move on to Magna Park North, North and South. And South. It's the same permission because it's the same GLP. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. it's owned by GLP. You own Magna Park Central, North and South. So, um, And you've got some um, much bigger businesses over there that may not agree. I'm just going to jump on that motorway and yeah. move on. Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> All right, nice take care. You, and you, and you. So there we go. We finished off this video with a visit to the estate office and we saw what the lady on the phone was like in person. And they're not too bad, are they? They're just trying to do the best for the people that are occupying their their land. They're just trying to look after it the best way they think's right. So, yeah, it is what it is. We're going to move on now. So if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.